This is Dr. David Johnson with a brief introduction to Discovery Studio, which is a molecular uh, observation, uh, viewing, and modifying uh, protocol that helps you work with molecules of various types. It's, it's a very nice piece of software. It's free from Bovia, just, and there you can link here down below is the free download link here to link to this software uh, where you go out and at request it. They ask you to register and they want your email address and they uh, so if they're they want a professional email address such as edu or if you're working for a company they want to know that because they want to sell it to you if you're working for a company but it's free to academics so you just click next and then you they say I consent that my personal data will be processed according to 3DS's privacy policy, and you can check that there, but you know, it's uh, just submit it. Um, that's what I did. And then you come to the download, click the download, and you'll, and you'll open up the software. And I've done this. It takes a while to download it. It takes a while to install it, but uh, not long. And then you get, then you get the, uh, the software. And this is what you initially wind up with. I'll uh, go back and show you how to do this and close out this page and we'll put another molecule up. But here's the basic information you'll get and uh, you, not, you need to add, t we're going to study with macromolecules, simulation, receptor, li ligand interactions, various other things. And there are a lot of tools that they add in if you buy the package. So I like the view tools very much. The view tools provide a pointer. Uh, they provide a uh, another uh, uh, tool here that is uh, for m moving molecules around the screen. This one's a tool for translate, moving them up and down, back and forth. This was a zoom tool. So, uh, but you know, this one right here is the one that I use the most. It's the rotate tool. All right. Now, I'm going to pull up a molecule that I have uh, studied, and this is collagen. This is a a space filling model and you can see the three strands in different colors here in space filling. Then if you look over here this is called the hierarchy window in this area and it lists out the two chains. So there are three chains, chains A, B, and C and you can expand each one of these and so now you can see the sequence and you can see that cha cha chain A is proline, hypoproline, hypoproline, glycine, I'm uh, sorry proline, hydroxyproline, glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, glycine, proline, hydroxyglycine. So it's just repeating, it's just a repeating uh, structure that, uh, that's that been created. It's not a, a real piece of collagen, but it's, it's representative of what collagen looks like. And you can even see each individual atom if you would like to. There's a, you know, for the, that proline, there's a carbon, a C alpha carbon, C, C beta carbon, C D carbon, G and N and O. So you see all the all the bits of the molecule here. Uh, it provides you with uh, with this tool here. You can rotate the molecule and uh, align it in different ways. So you know you can twist it around and play with it as you as you will. Uh, you can uh, uh, light up one piece and not the other. So if you'd like to only see one, you can uh, click just click on the little box and uh, be. See, these two disappear and this one's here. You can go into the uh, chemistry, or sorry, uh, structure, and then add labels. And you can, like, say, add the amino acids, or you can even add even atoms or bonds or various other things, a molecule name if you want to. So uh, there's amino acids. I've added that. And you can see the, that now we have amino acid names uh, added here. Hy so the the proline down here at number one is at the other end. So there's proline one here at this, this other end, and then there's hypo, uh, hydroxyproline and glycine and proline, hydroxyproline, glycine. So, so neat, neat little bit of tool uh, to, to do, and then you can also, uh, of course, pull back in the other two and have the nice 3D structure. You can also change the view. You can go to a display, and instead of having CPK, which is space filling, you can go to line. And in the line, you can see 
in the line you see there, and you see I've got them labeled, and you can turn off B and C, and then you can see that each, you know, the structure of each one there and lab labeled here is kind of neat. So it's a nice, easy tool to use. Uh, you can actually, if you wanted to, add a, an amino acid down here. I'm going to say add a, I say add something nice and big like a tryptophan. So bingo, there's a tryptophan added down here at this end, and uh, so you, and there it is. And it's it's uh, you can see the ring stru ring structure there of that tryptophan. Neat. All right. I hope this is helpful to you, and take care.